All right. Hello, guys. Welcome to Saramata Podcast. Um, today is going to be really short. This is part two from um, uh, Podcast 78. So just like I had a feeling that it was going to be uh, part two. So, But I just want to, uh, because I end up actually, um, I didn't realize that the podcast got cut off and also like, I don't know, I guess I was really tired that I didn't even notice that it was not finished or I didn't finish reading what he wanted me to finish reading. So I will get to that. But I just want to make something clear and I probably will be doing that on the YouTube channel because I just heard it and it just gave me like the most um, vile, like I just felt really disgusted, okay? Listen, um, and it's something that we say it all the time when we read readings, when we give advice about that, but now the really toxic spiritual community who are okay with colonialism and capitalism are using the exact same words against us. Sorry about the noise. My cat is going a little wild today. Um, yeah, and I felt really this... I, I was just like, wow, this is so weird. Like, how they use your words, but it's not... It's completely distorted. It's not what it is, okay? So basically, now the spiritual community... Like, right away when I heard it, someone saying, I literally unfollow them and I... Like, I just don't want to look at them anymore. Like, I, like I'm like i losing so much. Like, I, a lot of people are losing a lot of respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't. So their energy and their excuse that they're saying, um, that they're telling themselves, right? Because they're delusional, right? They're telling themselves that the reason why they're not at, um, helping right now in humanitarian work and helping the us right now and you know, continuing uh, advocating for the Palestinian to ceasefire because it is an erasure, it's an ethnic cleansing right now that is unjust, that it's wrong, okay? We cannot, just cannot, we cannot repeat history. This is the time where we get to be different than our ancestors, that we get to do things differently. And better yet, we have angels, we have God, and we have our ancestors vouching for us, backing us up, Okay. So right now, I just heard that and I was like, wait, but we say that in our readings and that's not what we mean. So, so now what they're saying is that if you attach yourself to negative karma, basically they're saying that the Palestinian have negative karma, that everybody else who is dealing with genocide, they have attached themselves to negative karma. So those who are... Um, uh, supporting them so like basically they're saying that, that if you attach yourself to low vibration people places their thing right they're saying it like this now so it's not like it's a silent converted narcissist motherfucking shit that i literally it's like a subliminal subliminal right and i heard it and i catch it right away i was like god what and he's like there you see that's why you have the sermon catch it and put it out there they're using what we were saying to people to justify themselves of being quiet right now and not doing what they're supposed to be doing because they think that whatever is happening in Gaza, whatever is happening in Yemen and Congo, so that, that, is not, that it cannot happen to us. You are delusional, first of all. And your spirituality is fucking bullshit, okay? First of all, when we say... That if you attach yourself with people, places, and things that have some type of negative karma, I'm talking about people just like what Israel is doing to Palestinians. Those are the people that you not you need to cut that shit off. You need to boycott their products. You need to boycott any USA product, any Canadian as well, because Canada is involved in this. Okay, so right now, if we're talking about. Uh, Attaching yourself to negative karma and toxic karma. Well, we all are, motherfuckers. Anybody who lives in the U.S., anybody who lives in Canada, anybody who lives in the U.K., any Europe or whatever, anybody who's siding with the fucking Zionists and Israel fucking disgusting agenda, that is attaching to negative karma. So right now, how do you free yourself from that toxic negative karma? You hold on to God. You repent right? And then you free your shackles from anybody associated with these people who are psychopath, 
sadists, okay? And also detach yourself from anybody, any spiritual tarot community telling you that you attaching yourself to defending those who are in need, suffering right now, having no water, no food, okay? Literally in pockets and places, like this is not humane. They're trying to dehumanize these people. And what the craziest thing is that a lot of y'all, you think it cannot happen to you. Are you serious? The fact that you're not doing anything, that you're silent right now, and then now you're using the spirituality against us, against people who are innocent, is this. Disgusting, and I'm disgusting to be associated with people like you. I'm disgusting and ashamed of this fucking disgusting country. I can't stand fucking Canada using my money for this fucking shit. You are disgusting, okay? So I don't care if this trigger you or make you feel some type of way. Good. I need you to use this anger just like everyone is feeling this exhaustion because that's what they're counting on, guys. They're counting on your fatigue. They're counting on you get tired. They're counting on you know you stop posting. They're counting on this. Do not stop, especially the spiritual community. That fucking disgusting, distorted, new age bullshit, okay? Because they're bullshitters. They don't care about no people. They're taking your money. Those people who are telling you they're not off, they're not supporting Gaza and the Palestine right now or anybody right now, and you're taking their personal readings, they're cursing you. You don't get it, do you? They know this. They know that that you, the more you fall into their trap, the more you're listening to their BS and their high vibration, and you need to stay high vibe. And you're taking their personal readings right now. They're fucking just stealing your money. Just like Israel's doing, just like the USA is doing, just like Canada is doing. It's the same thing in the physical. It's the same. They know it. And they can't wait for us to stop talking about this so that they continue their delusion. So they continue stealing money from you. These people don't fucking work. You know that, right? They don't do volunteer work. They don't help anybody. They don't help homeless people. People like that, you should not trust them with your energy. You should not ask them for personal readings. They cannot take their fucking YouTube channel platform and post one thing, one, in their community board. It takes 15 seconds to do that. But they don't do it. Do not take personal readings for people like that. They will curse you because they already curse and they know it. I'm sorry, but I'm tired of this energy. I'm tired of these people. While people are suffering. We can barely sleep or eat. And we have everything to be grateful for. And I'm not saying I'm not grateful. But I'm disgusted to be in a situation like this. Just watching. And not and thinking that you're not able to do anything. Bullshit. Don't believe them. Don't believe anybody telling you, oh, it's nothing, we can't do anything, donation doesn't work, and posting doesn't work. Do not listen to them. That's a vessel spirit. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Stop listening to these people. They also have the religious spirit. They haven't done the colonization. They don't believe. They don't have God in their heart. Those who have God in their heart, we don't care to die. We don't care. We don't have fear in our heart. And that's what the enemy is scared of. This is how you should be. You should stand up to the spiritual community. Put it in their comments. Put it. Put ceasefire. Free Palestine. Free Congo. Free Sudan. Do it now. I don't care anymore. It's enough. 60, 63 days. How many days now? How more do you need? What more do you need? Sorry, guys. I just, I'm so angry right now. I just need you right now. Stop looking at other people. They're not doing anything. They already show you they're not going to do anything. They're ignorant. They're silent. Stop trying for them to do anything. Just focus on the actual people who are on the ground, who are doing the dirty work that nobody wants to do. Okay? Please focus on the activism who are actually doing this. Continue posting with the filters, either private or 
do it private or do it public. It's okay. Do the games that are going on on TikTok. Okay. It is working. It is reaching them, but it's right now it's stuck somewhere on the North, but it needs to get to the South. Okay. But it will, we just have to continue going. Okay. Do not stop. Do not lose hope. You cannot lose hope. Palestinians right now are not losing hope. They're counting on us. They're counting on us doing this, okay? Standing up for them, okay? Especially today, God was telling me that they listen to my work and they're the first ones supporting. This is not okay. We cannot continue allowing this, okay? This energy, it's getting heavier by the day. And I also feel their exhaustion, their hunger, okay? And this is why when they're praying, we have to continue the praying. We have to add those prayers with them as well. So it's not just posting. It's not just like, you know, and if you can, if you can donate, please do. Please reach your rich people. If you know any rich people, okay? Ask them to donate and watch them do it. Don't just give them the site, the link, and then hopefully they will donate. No, go visit them. Go talk to them. Go tell them, I want to see you do it. Yeah, that's how it has to be now. Okay? Like, we cannot continue this. This is enough. Okay? This ideology, this situation, it just cannot continue. Okay? We are the people. Our taxes is our money. And we have the power. They want you to believe this. They want you to believe that you don't have power. That you're not worthy. That you're just a number. That is not true. That is a life on the pit of hell. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Please. A lot of you, you think that you're tired of boycotting because you don't want to boycott your nasty brands who are supporting this shit. I don't give a fuck about your exhaustion right now and your pride and your ego and your selfish, like you're just disgusting. Please, I don't care. Stop, we need to do this. And this is, has to be permanently and to ceasefire is permanent and also the, all the other countries as well. We need to use our power right now and we have plenty. Do not believe what they're trying to tell you, okay? Another thing that he wanted me to let you know, while I'm doing this work, Recently, there was something about my student law. I haven't, I've been able to pay at least for the past seven years and they have removed money from my kids, money from my taxes, all every, every year, right? This year, they're going ham now. They're like, oh, you know, the interest is 7.7% interest and blah, blah, blah. So basically, it's like a full grocery list in order for me to pay this student loan, which I'm still paying. Now, this has been an increase and it apparently is going to increase next year. So this is another way of colonialism. Like I'm not even in the uh, career. I didn't even like, I'm not doing that anymore. Right? Like, it's just crazy that I'm still paying and that's what it is. That is the karmic debt that I chose because I didn't know any better because I wasn't educated enough about not going like maybe should have gone into a trade or should I go like university is a business. It's not what you think it is. And also that too, everything that I learned in university, I could have learned online. I didn't need to learn that stuff like basically and not too. I have to, after I finished university, I had to decolonize. So basically I have to relearn, reteach myself. Okay. The same thing that a lot of us in the colonization, when we go through this inner childhood wound and shadow work, you have to reparent yourself, right? You understand that your parents didn't know any better, that all the toxic things that they passed down on you, it was not for your highest good. And you decided to break that generational curse. Breaking generational curses is not supposed to be easy. Hello? That's the whole point. Decolonization is not easy at all, especially when you are going through it, when you are living colonialization, when you are living genocide, and when you are living capitalism, which these two are literally, they need to be together. But this is why when we break, uh, when we break down the capitalism, then the colonialism falls. So we have to do it at the same time. Decolonize and be an anti-capitalist and anti-Zionist. Do you not understand? The reason why also I'm doing this is because they have a very toxic agenda with people with disabilities. And I'm not okay with that because I work with people with disabilities. So right now, not only my kids depends on being on the right side of history, but those who I, I'm in care now, who I take care, who are people with disabilities. And I will punch your throat if you ever fucking try to do anything to them. Do you understand me? Yeah. 
a lot of y'all, you don't have, like a lot of you, you, you think like, oh, do we have to sacrifice so much? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. When you do the separate work, yes, you do. Yes, you do. But you get your sanity. You'll get your divinity back. You get your, that literally clear as day connection with God. Okay. You literally, you let him go first and then you surrender. You let, and then you, you listen to him and he guides you where you need to go. When you're obedient to God, you don't have nothing to worry about. Nothing. And a lot of people, don't let them put that in your brain. Don't let them brainwash you like that, especially a spiritual community, telling you that attaching yourself, that offending these people, that they have karma when they didn't do anything. First of all, there are facts, there is a script, there's literally papers, there is literal investigation, it's been proven. On October 7, Israel people, their own people came through and telling you all that Israel people did it to their own people and then they blame Palestine, Hamas. No, Hamas is an excuse. They want to eradicate and they literally genocide Palestinians, but they're using Hamas as an excuse. It has never been about Hamas. It has never been about that. By the way, there is no facts and records, and I need to put that out there. Now every Jewish that says this to me, I'm going to stop them in their track and say, where is your proof of that? Show me that video. Show me that proof, because I can show you the proof of the other side. Anybody, Israel, any Israeli, okay? Because no Jewish talks like this. Any fucking Zionist tells you, oh, but the Hamas raped the, the, the Israelis and stuff like that. That is not true. Do not let them brainwash you like that. That is them not taking accountability and responsibility and also hiding the fact that they attack their own people. They attack their own people, but you know why? Because in that concert on October 7th, there was people there against them. So they decided to bomb them. They decided to murder them and literally rape their own people. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm not lying here. Listen to your intuition. Go talk to God. He will confirm this to you as light as day. It's going to hurt. Yes, it will. But it's going to fuel you to do something about this. Stop letting them brainwash you. Stop letting them confuse you. God is not a God of confusion. And God chose Palestinians for a reason. And you're seeing why, right? Right away, tell them, I need you to show me the proof. Where did you hear that? You need to, you need to question them. You need to hold them accountable. You need to hold them responsible. And if they don't have any facts, any information, then you're talking shit. Because it's not true. And then you go and show them the stuff. Go check out my blogs. Go check out my repos on TikTok. Go check out all the things. I have plenty of proof. We all do. Everybody who's in the right side of history, we all do. This is recorded. God is giving us all the ammunition. Okay? Now they think they're going to kill all the writers or the people from Palestine. There's all the writers all over the world writing this already. What? Do you think we're going to let this go? No. No. We will never forget. And we're going to make sure of that. Okay? But how are we going to make sure of that? While well, all of us unite, okay, and do the right thing. This system is toxic and it's crumbling. And it, you, all of y'all, that is what it needs to happen. We need to let it crumble. But also, before we let it crumble, we need to save as much people as we can. We need to stop whatever situation, however we can. We need to dry them up. They, they're Freaking money bank account, it needs to be dry up. And how do you do that? By boycotting. You have to boycott. You have to. You have to. They need, they're, they are relying on that resource, that tax money, our money, okay, to do this, all right? While also all over the world, they're, all the government are charging people student loans, are charging people like the taxes and everything. Everything is increasing. The food is increasing. Do you understand? That's how they do it. They do it like this. But this is why we have given them our power. We have given it to them freely, just like that, and get comfortable with filth and disgusting situation, unequal situation, unjust, oppressive. We cannot continue like this. I know I didn't come to this earth for, for this shit, to watch this continue. Nah, nah, no, 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 no.
We are not doing this. So for a lot of y'all, this is also the, the, when you're balanced like this, so this is why like I have the feminine energy and the divine masculine within myself. So my masculine energy comes out because I am in my divine masculine, but also I, it doesn't feel safe to be in your divine feminine right now, does it? Like a lot of us, we don't feel that way. But now we're seeing other people who are in the divine feminine energy completely oblivious and ignorant and selfish, right? Oh, no, but I need to be in my love and light. Oh, I need to continue. You know, a basis as usual, right? We cannot do that. There's a time and place for everything. This is not the time. And we're missing the point. And no, we're not attaching ourselves to negative karma. Or actually, we are alchemizing and transmuting a lot of negative karma that is happening that is being eradicated right now for a lot of people who are supporting Palestinians, thanks to the Palestinians, okay? You gotta thank them. That's what God is using, on, um, believe it or not, that it's a blessing in disguise in all of this, that those who are on the right side of history, you are able to clear your negative toxic karma much faster by doing the right thing, okay? Now, those who are on the other side being silent and ignorant and not doing the right thing, they are the one accumulating in bad karma. They are. And then now they're literally brainwashing you and telling you to freaking readings that you, if you attach yourself with negative people, places a thing, like they're literally outing themselves. They're telling you exactly what's going to happen to them. That's why right away I knew it. He was like, I told you to stop listening. I'm like, I'm sorry. I... I, I, I believe you now. Like, as soon as I heard the subliminal, and you can hear it. You hear it in all these tower readers who pretend to be psychics and, and, and I don't know what, but they can't take a little bit of their time to help those in need. Also, you're just helping, like, those who need help right now, right? Those who are sick, those who are hungry, those who need water, those who need water and so many... Uh, freaking emergency aid in Yemen for a long time ago. No, they, they don't deserve that, right? That's not love and life for you. That's too low vibration for you. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. And you know what? I'm just going to hear as a warning as well. Hell have a specific, particular, very hot and nasty place for you. It's a very nasty place for you. And I hope you can survive it. And by the way, once you get there, that soul of yours will never come back into this earth. You will never experience the earth as you're experiencing it right now. So have fun. Enjoy it right now. Because very soon, once you're out of here, you will never come back here. Okay? All right. Another thing. Sorry I came out outside because I just need the fresh air. Um, also, I need to get some stuff. But I just want to make it clear also for... All the, you know, women out there of color who have told you that you're too sensitive, that you're too angry, that you're too this. These are people who tell you this. They're gaslighters, okay? They're victimizing and also they're looking for you to feel sorry for them, for them uh, trying to silence you and quiet you for you voicing something that has happened to you. Some type of abuse, some type of... Uh, you know, like, you're supposed to take it, like, you know what I'm saying? And not be, like, there is called sacred anger, okay? This anger that, you know, Jesus came up, like, literally happened to him, too, when he saw everybody, like, selling and stuff and, and then, uh, doing stuff outside of the church, remember? And that market thing, and he was like, oh, this is the house of God. This is the house of my father, and, you know? And then that anger, like, he put everyone out and took everyone out, you know? That is sacred anger. Why? Because it's justified. Because you're not supposed to be doing those things. It's called discipline. Like a lot of people think that holding themselves accountable and doing the right thing, what, do you think it's going to be pretty all the time? Do you think uh, it's gonna, people are all, everybody's going to like it? No. That's the whole point. That's the retaliation. That's the, the rebellion energy. Right? They were too comfortable, this spiritual community, especially the, you know, the really uh, high almighty and all white supremacy uh, uh, 
converted narcissists that even them talking about like narcissists and and all this and blah 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 but it's like it's all a reverse fucking psychology like if you really see through them and you hear their subliminal messages that's how you know now i respect all their other people who are white yes white race okay and they're taking their platform they're taking their stand they're literally Honestly, they don't care if they get like fired from their jobs and stuff like that to stand up for Palestinian. They are the one who get really get it. That's how you know whoever I'm speaking to, you're going through an ego death. This is what ego death mean. You don't care about the ego. You don't care about the materialistic thing. You don't care about consumerism. You don't give a fuck about money. Money is an energy. It comes to you when you are when it's attracted to you. But right now, it's not attracted to people. It's att- it's attracted to people who are toxic as fuck. Because the enemy is using it against them. Do you understand? So right now, anybody training, trying to get money or trying to do anything like that, like there's other ways that you could be working right now. That you could be doing other things. But you can also do your own whatever spiritual work that you're doing. That's not a problem. I'm telling you to stop whatever it is that you're doing, however you got money. All I'm saying is that you need to take... Fuck. Oh, it's cold. One second. I almost fell. <laughs> but that's okay. I fail and I get back up again. Listen to me. You need to take a little bit of your fucking little time that you have. And I don't care what time it is. You need to stand up for others. You want to be part of this community? And that's another thing. You should give me the scripture. And I was like, God, this is funny. Because it was trying to bring me back to joy, bring me back to peace. Because I'm so angry. I'm... Mm. But only him. And that too, whatever people tell you that God is not there when you're angry and you're feeling sad and mourning and grieving, that's not true, huh? He's always there. Yeah, he's not there when you're in low vibe and trying to attack people, trying to do horrible things to other people. Oh, staying silent, you know? Staying silent and comfortable and ignorant for what's going on in the world. Of course, he's not there. It's your delusional, it's the counterfeit that is there, encouraging you to do exactly the opposite of God told you, right? But you're not listening, right? You're listening to that huge-ass ego. The one that is telling you to stay quiet, stay silent, not do anything, huh? Okay. Okay, good luck with that. Okay, so yeah, guys, I'm going to give you the scripture, but I'm trying to do also, like, all the household things, all the things that I got to do before my kids get home, the laundry and stuff like that, and all I can think of is just crying and crying and crying because I know there's people in Palestine, people in other places, they cannot do this, so this is like, you know... So that too is like constantly like healing and going through this, but also like praying. And also right away, I use that as an ammunition and I'm like, no, I'm not going to let it stop. I'm not going to, you know, so I call a representative while I'm doing laundry. I post and I, I do the little filter thing while I'm doing the dishes and stuff like that. Like there is ways, but you have to get over your fear. You have to get over your doubts. You have to get over your excuses. You have to get over your fucking privilege. You have to get over it. This is why this ego death is so important for the real collective that I'm speaking. The ones who are diving into their consciousness, diving into from their unconscious to make it conscious and to make it Christ conscious and the real thing. Not the counterfeit, not the consumerism, capitalism and the colonial mindset. Not that one. Not the one that you're literally ignoring and listening to other people and doing business as usual while genocide is happening. Well, you are knowing, knowing that your money is helping these assholes do this to children. Think about that. Let that sink in. And if you don't feel remorse or convicted or any type of way right now, you have lost your humanity. You have lost the heart. You have lost it. The soul, you're going to have to talk to God and repent to get that back. People don't get it. This is like a spiritual warfare, yes. But it's one that is already one, but it's one for the people who are doing the right thing and they're doing the righteous thing of like God stuff that he tells you. Not from a book, not from other people, not from prophets or tower readers or anybody, even from me. Listen to your intuition. I just want you, you to listen to your intuition because I'm here as a mirror. I'm a spiritual guy, messenger. Okay, I don't care about fame. I don't care about money. I don't care about none of that. If you want to help me and support me, go support Palestinians. Go support Sudan and Congo. That's how you want to help me. Go help them. Go do that. I appreciate those who donate. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I am dealing with a lot, but other people are dealing with worse and I am going to 
literally support those who are dealing with worse. I can take care of things later. God take care of me already. That's how you're, you strengthen your faith. That's how you strengthen your intuition. You show God that you don't care what happens to you as long as other people who are in worse conditions than you are safe, are secure, are stable, are fed, and have water and resources for them to, that they need, right? No, no, <laughs> no. A lot of you all, you think uh, being homo, oh, that's, that's too much. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And continue to pray. Okay, even if you see in videos, if you see someone say, oh, what are we going to do, blah, 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 talking hopeless enough, just pray for them too. Okay, they obviously are, are like the people who are dealing with this in the ground, they're not losing faith. They're not losing hope. They're still going. They're still literally risking their life. And also those journalists, these are the people that we need to be amplifying their voices right now. They're risking everything for us to have this information, for us to know the truth. Okay. Okay, so a lot of people, if you're thinking they're too much or, or you're doing too much or blah, 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 they're not doing enough. They're not, okay? You are the woke. And it's not about competition. It's not a comparison. It's just facts that they're delusional. They're stuck in their negative bad karma that is coming. They have already been having, been happening for many times, right? But a lot of y'all, God has given you a chance to save yourself right? Surrender it to him. Whatever situation, whatever you're dealing with, okay? Your sins, whatever's going on, okay? Whatever wrongdoing, whatever mistakes, and now fix it. Do the right thing and start by helping other people. You know what to do. We've been talking about it nonstop. That's it. Do it, right? We're not here to judge you. Nobody's judging. We're judging those who are not fucking doing nothing, that they're going to literally shame on themselves. They are a disgrace. Okay? Now, the quote that he gave me today, and I was laughing my ass off. I was like, God, really? But it's not funny, but it's just a very interesting. And this is what he wants you to remember, okay? He said, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. This is Mark 10, 25. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that God does not give in his kingdom people who are wealthy, who are stable. Let me give you an example. A wealthy person will do, not only get their money with integrity and not doing things of disgrace or trying to gain some type of money uh, through genocide, through enslavement, through, uh, you know, enslaving children and stuff like that. No, that's not a real rich man. Okay. A real rich man is actually doing work with integrity and also taking their pride in their ego and their huge ass status if they have, okay? And they don't care about their status. They don't care about wealth even though they have it. They're willing to give everything for those in need. Those are the right, the, the richest men they're allowing the kingdom of God, Okay? Not those who selling constantly selling their products while there's genocide. Not those who are constantly promoting their brand and their Black Friday and their Cyber Monday and buy my readings and, and this and that, personal readings, okay? Gaining their wealth by doing disgusting things as being ignorant and silenced through a genocide. Plenty, by the way. There's like eight genocide, right? That is not. And I'm talking rich men, but it could be a rich woman. Yeah, I said it because there are plenty of filthy ass, rich ass women in this fucking world and they're silent right now. You think, and also on top of it all, they're prophets, supposedly. They have ministries and they're talking about God and saying, God this, God that, God told me this, God that. Feeding into disgusting other people's ego and continuing the ignorance and the silence. And allowing these people to stay silent and ignorant just as them. He just showed me a crap. So the crap mentality. So anybody who tried to uh, bring these people to hold them accountable, they're going to feel some type of way and retaliate, right? How dare you, right? 
It took me a lot to build this platform. Mm hmm. Yeah. It is easier for a camel. Remember, camels are uh, very resilient. They can live in the desert. They have literally two hunchbacks, right? And they can hold water in the hunchback for many periods of time. Which that water, for a lot of you, the camel is a significance for someone, okay? So God is speaking to some of you. So I feel like it's, this is the Arab community, the Muslim community, the, yeah, African, African American uh, community, okay? Like your faith, your belief is going to fit through the eye of a needle. You are going to fit. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. For a lot of us, it feels like a needle in the hashtag to try to find uh, some type of solution, some type of, 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 of hope uh, during this time. But you have literally billionaires that they can do something about it and they're not doing nothing about it. So this is why he's saying this. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. They know this, by the way. They know that this is why they're rebellious, right? They're rebellion about it. This is why they know that they're, they're more content that they're creating, not about the situation and trying to silence us, the more they're getting, you understand? Not only they get more riches, they get more whatever during this time, okay? Because they're trying, they don't want this to be over because they want their little share. They want their share of all this genocide, of all what's going on in the world. They know that they have a share of that. Meanwhile, us, we hold on to God. We know we're struggling. We're dealing with stuff. We know that we're, we're sacrificing everything. We're going to lose stuff. But we know that we're getting in the spirit. We know that he confirms that. We know that we, he's right there. We know that our prayers are working for those who need it right now. He's listening to us. Do you understand? Hold on to that. That your prayers right now, especially when you're in depression and, and, and heartbreak and, and he's relieving, he's giving you peace so that you can continue. He's giving, he's building that resilience with you, okay? A lot of you... Sorry, I don't know. I got cut off. Anyways, um, he honors your fasting. That's, I think that's what I was last that I was saying. I don't remember if it was recorded, but um, he honors everything that you do, okay? Everything. Don't think that all of that that you're doing, all the uh, helping Palestine and Congo and Sudan, don't think that he's not, he's not counting on that, okay? He's watching. He's seeing everything. All of y'all, that, that, that comes from the Holy Spirit, He's encouraging you. He's giving you that peace, that resilience, that strength that you're getting not to get tired during this time to do this, but also do your, your own thing. So a lot of you, you, your work is not, you're not affected in your work. You're not affected in, in the things that you're doing. Just that, that is the blessing. A lot of you, you're no longer sick, are you? Huh? Have you noticed that? A lot of you, you've been sick all, all year and all of a sudden you start doing this work and you're no longer sick hallelujah glory be to god how my my brothers and sisters say alhamdulillah huh glory be to god that is your blessing he's giving you strength to continue going you get it other people are getting all their toxic strength god knows from what right they think, they have that delusion, or they think that they're, oh yeah, my intuition's telling me, and this and that, and, and my tarot card, and blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, I get it, like every people is in different sides of this warfare, right? It's in different p places, right? We all have different, but right now we all need to be together. Like that being in one side of spirituality, one other side, like uh, over here, and that, that, that's, that's gone. You're, you're, you're getting left behind and you're thinking that you're ahead. But they're not listening. It's always like that, right? It's always like that. They're going to regret it. And we know they're going to regret it, not standing in the right side of history, right? We know that. Yeah. They're going to lose whatever they're getting right now. They're going to lose it 10 times fold. 
But no, that's their belief that us doing this type of work to making them look bad for not doing anything. We are, we are accumulating negative karma. Are you kidding me right now? That's their belief. That's the, all of the delusion. That's the counterfeit, literally, the enemy, putting that in their heads because they're already gone. The moment you decide that you're better off, you're better ignoring, you're better your neutrality, your BS neutrality, okay? You're, you're literally, it takes too long. A lot of you, you're posting bullshit kakalaka, but you don't take two seconds to look what's going on in social media to help out, okay? Post literally free palace and ceasefire. It's too hard for you. It's too hard. All this of your free Congo, but once you found out that they're the, you're like, oh no, but I like my phone. Yeah, man, you are disgusting. Selfish. Greed and selfishness is your fucking legacy. It's disgusting. Ugh. Anyways, I didn't want to get into that like that, but it's just like honor of the ancient king. That's it. We're just going to honor and, and don't let anybody gaslight you, victimize you, or cast those subliminal messages and cult, cut those people off, okay? Like, these are people like, I don't know, man. Like, that's it. I don't want to be associated with anybody with that toxic mentality and, like, they're righteous because they have a platform. And they're doing Tao reading or talking about God or giving God messages and blah, blah, blah. But they can't take five seconds of their time to support those already. And, and no, oh, no, they're too, that's too 3D. That's 3D. I can't, I can't deal with that. That's 3D. That's how, that's what they tell themselves. That's the, the ego telling them to do that. And that is their, their downfall right there. And we're all watching while also all of us dealing with the ego death, not only of ourselves, but those who are dealing with death right now, like real death, real physical death, because they're experiencing their own ego death as well. All Palestinians are. All people who are doing this type of work, humanitarian work, we all go into this ego death together. Eventually, we do have to come in together. We have to con co collaborate together. Okay. So keep doing the healing, keep doing the decolonization because that is going to be also our, our strength as well. And all, the, all those of us is to stay humble as well. So when we do become something that we know that we're supposed to become because this is the kingdom of God, he said it. No rich man is going to get into the kingdom of God like that, how they're doing it. And we're watching them fall. They're, we know that they're going to fall. We know that. The empire is going to fall. This toxic white supremacy is going to fall. And those who support it, those who stay silent, those who are corrupted as fuck, those who continue, they're going to fall. And so it is. Okay? Their Bibles, their little scriptures is not going to save them. It's going to save us who understand the scripture, who understand the word of God, of Allah, of, uh, from the Torah as well. Because that too, that's what the, the Jewish, I understand, like I, I, like the real Jewish people, like these Israel Zionists, they don't know what they're doing to the actual people outside of Israel. Like they don't understand what they're doing, but they don't care. That's the whole point. These people don't get it. They don't give a shit. You idolists, Israeli and Zionist idealistic and, oh, we're building the Holy Land. No, you're not. You stole it. Why? Because you consider them beneath you. All because they're Muslim, right? That's Islam, literally Islamic disgusting energy. Like, just, just not. And racist. You know why most of the people support Israel, right? But most of Israel people are not white, though. There's a lot of Palestinian in Israel as well. Is Palestine is Jew? There's Muslim Jews. There's all mix. There's a reason why Jewish don't want to do their DNA tests. It's because they know they're mix. No, but they're the righteous run, right? 
It's not okay and it doesn't excuse. We should never justify genocide. It's just not. Okay? I don't care what anybody says. We just don't. All right? So I'm going to finish the reading that I f did not finish for some reason, but God knows his business. Okay? So the last thing that I said it was uh, is I feel like this is about masculine energy being uh, healed. Okay? So God needs his protectors, the real divine masculine that have been uh, distorted, that has been consumed by consumerism and capitalism and completely patriarchy, toxic mentality. Okay, so he's trying to heal that from a lot of men right now, especially men of God, men who are supposed to be of God, right? Uh, now they're scared, anxious and not saying anything and doing stupid things to like numb themselves during this time or, or not do anything like neglecting their, their gifts, their talents, their, their women, their actual divine feminine. They left them, abandoned them just like they have abandonment issues and scare. Like, come on, man, we don't have time for this. Anyways, I don't want to be too harsh on them because I know that these people are also dealing with really toxic women yelling and stuff like that. But I'm so angry and I'm trying to keep it together, which is why I go outside and I deal with my own thing, you know. And this is why I talk to God only, okay, because only him can calm down this situation because I'm just tired. I'm tired of this BS, of people's BS. They're fake and authentic. I can't stand it. It's repulsive. And now I know that I'm, they can't stand me and I'm repulsive to those who are fake as fuck. Who can't stand that I'm literally calling them out. They can't stand it, right? But you are okay with calling people out in your tarot readings, right? On your little prophecy and stuff like that, right? Your little scriptures, your little uh, ministry, right? Because you're justified because you have high platforms, you have, right? I need to be writing this down. I'm going to do a blog. So if you see a blog later in the description below, it's going to be also on the Angie blog community and it's going to be posted on social media as well. But I need to put this in writing because I feel like voice, video, it's just people listen, but it just go from one ear and the other. I feel like writing is more, more solidified and it needs, it needs to be done. Anyways. Uh, okay, so the last thing I said, it says that conserve your energy, get plenty of rest, but when the time is right, let your soul roar. So this is me letting my soul roar, but some masculine need to be letting their soul roar like a lion, okay? And your true voice be heard without hesitation or fear. Remember, fear is not of God. You are a protector and a leader of others i'm i repeat you are a protector and a leader of others you're not a follower you're not a little little no you are a leader okay people follow you okay refuse to be put down trust in divinity sorry trust in the dignity and a divinity within so you need to focus on being more in your divinity and focus on your divinity. I already spoke around already all my Angie Block community and here as well. You can go back a couple, a couple episodes where I talk about this, about dignity, uh, how to, you know, remain your dignity. Okay. By being someone who's honest, by being someone who focuses on integrity, by someone who doesn't care to lose anything, to sacrifice anything for their dignity, for their integrity. That's one. Look it up. Dignity has many branches of how to maintain it because we all need to maintain it during this time. We also need to maintain the dignity of those who are literally showing all their energy so that they can show us that it's the truth, that they're not lying, right? Why they're doing that? Because right now the other side has a different toxic, disgusting agenda to use psychology, reverse psychology, and also make it, uh, make themselves the victim, gaslight and victimize everything. That is a form of colonialism. That's how prison system works. That's what white supremacy does. This is why the colonization is so important so that you can see right through. This is what toxic patriarchy does. This is why you have to see right through. Okay. This is what the attacks are heavy on women, the feminine energies, divine feminine energies. This is why it says, and divinity within. 
because we all have divine feminine and divine masculine within ourselves does not matter gender and they know this the system knows this they're counting on you not to know this because they don't live with dignity the system is not built in dignity this business is not this system is not built in, di in divinity it's very dark very evil and wicked and those who side with it you're part of the problem not the solution okay now, he wants me to read this other part. Um, so it says, Ingoniyama, Ingoniyama in Sulu, refers to lion, yet it is not a simple translation. It is also refers to a natural position of power. Implied in this is a position of kind, kingly, kingly leadership, which entails the wisdom of justice and mercy. I repeat, Wisdom and tells the wisdom of justice and mercy. Okay? This is the spirit of the divine masculine actively expressed in order to right the wrongs of the world. Thank you, spirit. You see how that one sentence convicts everyone in the entire planet? Let me repeat that for you in case you missed it. This is the spirit of the divine masculine... Okay, the Adam time, Jesus and Nasser sacrificing himself, okay, for us and saving us, right? For our forgiveness of our sins, right? This is the spirit of divine masculine actively expressed in order to right the wrongs of the world. This divine masculine potency within men and women, I repeat, men and women defends the sacred feminine by putting in the energy, action, and commitment required to bring her values to life. Do you understand why, Divine Master, you are important in this fight? Did you understand, Divine Feminine, why you are the humanitarian one, why you are the one who are connected more closer to God and your Divine Master is supposed to protect you? Because there's three brands in one. You are three in one. This is why the enemy, Satan, is so like angry and trying to destroy marriages. Literally kingdom marriages. Kingdom marriages, okay? Divine marriages that haven't even happened yet. They're being attacked before it even happened. And has always been like this. Okay? So don't think for a second that this energy is not all about what's going on of those who are the right people who are supposed to be leaders, which all of these are coming out. They know this. This is why they're doing this. This is why they've decided to give their money and resources and their energy, okay? Because they think that that is the right thing. They think that this is, you don't understand, but it's not. So those of you who are literally taking your resources and energy and all the right things to do the right thing, right? To side with, the, with those who are in need, you know? Love yourself as your neighbor, okay? Be in that Christ consciousness energy. You are doing the right thing. That's why you're being also going to heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. This is why you're being hated on, bullied, gaslight, and, and all kinds of weird-ass energy as well. Stock, okay? Some of you are getting all these fake-ass emails, all this weird-ass energy, all these bails that come out of nowhere. That's what it is. It's trying to attack your finances. It's trying to attack, but it's all, you know, part of their game. Do you understand? You have to continue going. Don't let them. They're trying to get you to conform to them, Okay? Continue educating yourself. Continue understanding what's going on. Especially Divine Masculine, you've been completely brainwashed and completely 3D. That's why most of us Divine Feminine, once we get into our healing journey, we stick to Tarot. Not only we hold on to God, we stick to Tarot because he teaches Tarot. The real ones, at least. Okay? And it's not like we're going to stay in that energy. It's just, Tarot is just a form of healing. Because by us healing ourselves, we're able to heal others. So that's what we're, we were all guided, the real ones. But also we know when and we need to stop. We know when we can't be doing that and we need to be, be standing up for those in need. Do you see the difference? There is a huge difference. And I hope you will be able to, to, to use your intuition and see the difference. Okay? Because not everything is gold as it looks. And not everything is shiny as it looks. Okay? 
Because there's a lot of people who are just a huge-ass mask and huge-ass ego and pretending that they are love and light and all that bullshit kakalaka. I am done with that. I cannot even, like, no. I'm not those people. I'm different and I like it that way. Thank you very much. Now, it says, what I feel is that this is why the enemy has been fighting the the divine masculine not to do is for them to remove their energy by, if the masculine is constantly having multiple sex partners, not able to have self-control, they always have the spirit of lust, they're always attracted to people who are lustful and stuff like that, that's how they're stealing their energy. So that's what they become. The, instead of divine masculine who rightfully saw they're meant to be, they become karmic masculine because they fall into temptation. Okay? But the beautiful thing is that when you connect to Jesus, he right there, he forgives you. He already gives you, okay, you repent, you go through conviction, and right away he gives you that energy back. It was like as if I was never lost. Get into the program. Start cleansing your energy, especially if you're being attached to toxic karmic energies divine masculine i'm speaking same thing with divine feminines okay i know a lot of divine feminines are not like me they're being eight to nine years celibate right that you're not attached because you know what i'm saying right but you're being like oh no i have a side this i have a side that oh i'm not ready for commitment oh this and blah 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 no you also need cleansing mija mija you know let's go like for real you're the divine feminine you lead first so if your leadership, your minister, whatever you're doing, it's not, you did all the right boxes, right? You click all the right boxes. But the moment that you need to show up for those in need and you're not doing it, you lose everything. It's like you never did anything. You get it? You choose money, vanity, and greed instead of helping other people during this time. You're going down with everybody else too. And by the way, you're no longer divine feminine. Just saying. Just saying. You got to start all over again, all over. You got to have to go to repentance, go. You got to start all over, all over. A lot of you, you're giving your second chance by actually doing the right thing, but you're still not doing it. Every day you can do it. Every day you get a chance to redeem yourself every single day. So let's see when is it that you're going to take charge and you're going to take action for real and you're going to do your thing. Because that, by the way, by the moment that you start helping other people and being the, the light that you're supposed to be during this darkness, especially for those who need it right now, you automatically detach in a healthy way for your uh, obsessive behavior or constantly waiting. And you're not waiting, but you are, right? Watching a bunch of tower readers and stuff like that while also doing your business and blah, 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 or you're profited, Right? And I really hope that you're not in that energy, like constantly obsessive and looking into your person. Like they're going to come when they're going to come. They, they're not supposed to be with you either way. They have shit to deal as well. They have their own karmic debt to deal just like you. But I'm hoping and praying that your person has actually decided to be on the right side of history like you are. But if you're not on the right side of history, believe me, they haven't done it. Or even better. I think you're going to like this one. And if it triggers you, good. You need to do your own work. If they are in the right side of history and you're not, best believe it that God is going to give them another person that actually is on the right side of history as them, is going to be in the same frequency as them. And you are going to lose that chance. Remember that scripture that I told you guys about the one, the wise, and the other one not taking the oil? Guess, better believe it, that those who are doing this type of work, we're building our oil, okay? And then that person has been building, they're going to kind of come, but they're going to see you being a fucking selfish brat and not doing the work and fucking focusing on only money and greed and not helping people. They're going to see you as a fucking karmic, even when you're not, even when you think that you're not. I'm telling you. They're going to see you as a karmic. They're going to see that all your oil is literally fake. It's toxic, okay? And they're going to look the other way. And they're going to say, you know what, God? I know that that you said that was for me, but that person is not ready. That person, their oil is nasty. They all care about money. They all care about their influence. They all care about their YouTube channel. They all care about their stupid freaking uh, brand and whatever while people are dying in genocide. While people, No, I want someone who's able to have no fear and still build an empire and still believe in God and still be there for those in need. Amen? I'm telling you, you think that a person is going to want someone like you 
who is toxic and greedy and selfish like that, who only care about who you already consider a gold digger, by the way. By the way, even though you probably make your own money, you're a fucking gold digger because you're not doing this work. Okay? All you care is about money. Now you're expecting a rich ass man, right? You're expecting this person to be all money. You think that this person, if they have money just as you, that you're not doing the right thing, do you think they're going to choose you? Do you think that? You're delusional, for real. <laughs> but continue that delusional. It's okay. Somebody else actually needs that person. They need that protector. They need uh, someone like that to stand up to you and other people, but also stand up for that divine feminine who is actually in the front line doing the right thing. So thank you for doing that person who actually deserves your person better than you. Okay? Thanks. That's for someone. Anyways... That also can go for the masculine as well. That can also go for the feminine, the masculine as well. If the masculine thinks that you're going to come after this divine feminine did all the work, has stand up for themselves, have built an empire, and is defending those in line, and you think that because you have money that you're just going to come to this person, but you haven't done the actual work, the decolonization, the shadow work, you think that this person is going to choose you, you're highly mistaken. Your money is not going to save you. I'm telling you, your money is not going to be attracted to this person, this divine feminine, this sacred feminine, this is a feminine who has been saving themselves for a real divine masculine. If you haven't done this work, and even, even those people who haven't had any money, let's say they have the spiritual strength, they have the spiritual wealth, right? But they're slowly building their stability. Which, by the way, most of the masculine are rich as fuck like that, by the way, in spirit. Okay? They're building and they're ready to collide your businesses together, work together, right? And then build the empire together. There is that one, that energy too. And most of the time, that's the real energy as well. Because most rich men right now, they don't have the anointing. They don't. They pretend they do. Okay? So... Just saying, a lot of you, you're expecting this rich ass man or whatever. I'm not. I, I'd rather my person to be rich in spirit. I want it to be wealthy in spirit. I don't care about the physical. I can take care of myself. I can build my own stuff. I've never needed anybody in the financial stent. But in the spiritual sense, I do want someone who is wealthy in spirit, who prays. Who prays for themselves, pray for, for us, who prays for our community. It's there for others, okay? Doesn't really care about that sexual energy all the time. Like, they don't care about that. They already got rid of that. The lust spirit's not there. Inferiality, infidelity is not there. They're loyal. That's who I'm attracting. That's who I'm calling. I don't care about money. I never have. And those who have decided to derail my person and tell them that that bullshit kakalaka. I hope you know that the person who is for me, it's not going to care about money. And if they did in the past, you're forgiven, boo. But make sure that you are taking accountability and responsibility for that. And you're actually don't would show me with actions that money is not your priority. That I am, your family is, your legacy is, okay? Your goals and dreams. I care that my person has their goals and dreams and has a purpose, okay, a purpose that's connected to God than any fucking millions that they have in their bank account, okay, so I want to make that clear as well, all right, and I'm so glad God made me different, I, I'm, I'm always grateful for that, because I can see through the BS, and I'm so grateful for that, that for me is wealth, see this, have the sermon, use my intuition, and see through the fucking shit, that people are literally buying and swallowing and, and taking it for dinner. Like, no, no. Now it says, the sacred feminine, woman and man defends the sacred feminine by putting in the energy, action, and commitment required to bring her values to life. So this who goes for the divine masculine as well, you do have divine feminine in you. It's sacred energy, okay? And this is why when you value this and you know that it's sacred, then you start valuing your energy, you take action for the right things, especially when it's needed, and you're committed not only to your divine feminine, but to the divine feminine within yourself and the one that is connected to God, okay? Because that is your true value. 
that is values, okay, that it comes from the most high, that is um, uh, put on you, okay? Divine masculine consciousness is essential for us to conquer procrastination, hesitation, fear, doubt, and inertia, okay? So this is why they're attacking the consciousness of the divine masculine, but also the divine masculine within the divine feminine, especially when they're balanced, okay? This is the, attack, this is the spiritual warfare that is much, much deeper. Why? Because once we have able to heal that, we know that it's essential because that way they can't keep us procrastinating. They can't keep us hesitating, right? They can keep us confused and in fear and doubts, right? So this is the system and the enemy um, agenda and we have to break the shackles from that right and when this is why we need Jesus okay because we cannot do this work without him we need God we need Jesus the son and we need the Holy Spirit okay get that in your head get that in your heart and I'm telling you you don't you will never have fear or any anxiety or depression or suicide all of that why because you believe in that wholeheartedly you love God with all your heart with all your mind with all your spirit with all your soul this is why you need the spiritual strength. You need the spiritual freaking food that God gives you that only he can give you. Nobody else can give you this. No, you're your divine masculine or divine feminine. No, your wife, your sister, your mother, your whatever. Nobody, nobody can give you this. Okay. Remember this because you're going to need it to remember this. It is the power of the sword of discernment. Thank you, spirit. Integrity, strength, and honesty. Yeah. It is the power of the sword of discernment, integrity, strength, and honesty. Honestly, that's going to be my vibration of next year. What, are you, what is your vibration? I think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to highlight that, actually. 2024 is the sword of discernment, integrity, strength, and honesty. And it's obviously the spirit of truth, clarity, and justice. It will still continue no matter what until, because we're not free until everybody's free. But yeah, I just needed to highlight that 2024, that's, that's going to be my mantra. Discernment, integrity, strength, and honesty. Oh yeah, that inner strength that comes from God, that discernment that comes from God, that integrity that comes from me, the flesh, taking accountability and responsibility for my own flesh, okay? And not allowing this flesh to rule me, okay? This is why this, this strength, the inner strength, and also honest, being honest with you, being honest with myself, being honest with everybody. When I'm not doing okay, it's okay to not be okay. When the, the, the honesty needs to be the same vibration, the, the facts that is going on in the world, we need to continue that honesty. And we need to be honest with what's going on in the world because a lot of people are asleep. A lot of people live in that lie and, 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 and cowardness and, and lack of integrity, lack of discernment and listening to their intuition. I'm telling you, this is why we have to break the shackles. Like the fake ass new age spirituality, that's fake ass stuff. It needs to stay in 2023 and 2024. We're going to bring the real discernment, the real integrity, the real strength and the real honesty. Okay. It's not business as usual. Some of us were not celebrating Christmas this year. We might do it with work colleagues and stuff like that. But in the real sense, we're not doing this. If the Palestinians are not able to celebrate Christmas, if Congo and Sudan and Yemen are not able to celebrate Christmas, have a dinner with their families, we are not doing this. New Year's Eve, all this uh, Boxing Day and blah, blah, blah. We're not doing this. They're counting on this, by the way. They're counting on you to get tired so then they can buy you, right? They can give you, oh, 70%, 80% off and blah, blah, blah. That's a fucking lie. Don't fall into that temptation because most of these stores that I show you already, they're cursed. So us buying for that, we are accumulating their debt. And they want you to do that because they don't want to carry all that karmic debt that they have because they know it. Killing a bunch of innocent people and children, that is the worst karma that they know that they're going to have. And I feel bad for those workers that have to work on this thing. But then again, God, God knows his business. Those who work in these companies. But I know, I see you. You're doing, I will caring for Palestinians in the background. Continue doing it. That's how it's saving you. That money you need it. You need it for stability. You need it to buy for your food. You need it to provide for your family, Okay. Just continue to be on the right side of history and don't worry. God is that, let God judge whoever needs to be judged, okay? You know what you need to do, all right? But a lot of us don't fall for it. 
Don't go into 2024 accumulating all that karmic debt from when we are telling you to boycott these people, boycott all these things, and you're still like, don't do it. Also, anybody who is not supporting any tower readers that you're buying personal readings and they're not doing the work and they're not helping out and they're not, that's another karmic debt. So when you're giving your money to these people and they read your energy, okay, I'm telling you, they're not reading your energy. They already have more, probably multiple demonic spirits. They don't have protection anymore. They think they do. They think their crystals are protecting them, right? They think as some God, some God is protecting them. No, it's a heavy counterfeit. It's counting on them to continue the colonial BS. They're counting on it. The enemy is counting on it, and they know it. They already gave their soul. The moment they decided to be ignorant and watch, and especially those who are mothers, tar readers, yeah, I'm calling you out. The moment that you decide that you're going to stay silent and ignorant and you're going to continue your tar reading, your messages and blah, 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 and not help those people, that's the moment you lost your soul. That's the moment that your children are in danger. And you know it. And if you don't know it, now you do, boo. Now you do. But then again, Today is a day, tomorrow is another day, right? That's the beautiful energy that Jesus gave us because he knew that you were going to do this. He knew that you were going to be the Judas. He knew that you were going to be the Judas. He knew that you, we are all going to find our Judas in our, in our, in our midst. We all saw that also that we're, some of us were dealing with Peters as well. He knew that too. And now we see it. But do you remember what happened to Judas after the sacrifice Jesus, right? He couldn't live with himself, right? May God, may God have mercy on your souls and your children and your legacy that you thought that you were building, but the moment that you were supposed to show up for us, you didn't. Not for us, for those in need, especially Jesus' people, the Palestinian. Ceasefire, permanent ceasefire needs to happen right now. This is enough. Anyways. It is the ability to protect and defend what is worthy. Palestinians are worthy. Congo people are worthy. Sudan people are worthy. Yemen people are worthy. Everyone who is dealing with oppressive system and injustices right now, they are worthy. And those who think that they're not, that it's okay for you to stay silent and ignorant, shame on you. Shame on you. You don't deserve them. You don't deserve to be on this planet. You don't deserve it. And what is coming for you? Yeah, I'm not going to boast or feel happy about it because I'm not, that's not of God either. I'm not happy. I'm actually sad for you for what's coming to you. And on top of it, all these are people who prophesy this. They're talking about people getting some type of karma or getting some type of thing that they're getting channel messages from people getting some type of stuff, but they're the one experiencing it. They're the one who's going to experience it if they continue this type of behavior. Yeah. Continue feeding your own delusions. It is not about dominating the world. Let me repeat that. It's not about dominating the world, but about moving powerfully amongst it. Amongst it. From a position of inner spiritual connection to the wisdom of the sacred feminine that is always revealing the way. It will always reveal the way. This is one of them. Now, the oracle of Ingo Niyama, I hope I'm saying this right, brings you lion medicine. Lion is an archi archetypal energy of raw power, strength, and fearlessness. Okay? So this lion medicine it comes from the most high, from God. Because he's the one who gives us this power, he gives us this inner strength, and he gives us a fearlessness heart, a fearless heart and soul and spirit. This is why you don't care what happens to you as long as other people are. So this is why empathy is so important. This is what when you lose that and you stay in apathy, you lose your soul and your heart as well, even though you're trying to mask it that you're praying too much or you're doing this. Today he was showing me this through the Bible verse today. And I was like, whoa, that's, that's intense. Because the word today, it says, the Lord 
delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Okay. So today I, there was this part, and I think I'm going to add it into the blog. It says, God loves you unconditionally, but he also delights in you. Not because you're perfect or because you never mess up or because you're constantly faithful. No one is. Okay. This verse tells us that God delights in you as you fear him. You acknowledge his God with a holy respect for his power and you put your ultimate hope in his unfailing love. Okay. But another thing he was saying, where is it? Yeah. God is not after earthly strength. Okay. This is, you have to remember this. God is not after earthly strength. It is not about who's the strongest, bravest, richest, smartest, who has the most social media followers or subscribers on YouTube, okay, or views, okay, or follow us on TikTok. It's not about, it's not even about who has the most consistent church attendance. Yeah, this is for the religious churchy people, okay, or spiritual eagle streak, okay. If you want to please God, it is pretty simple. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. So we have to put their hope in the unfailing love of the fact that he's going to free Palestine. He's going to free Congo. He's going to free Yemen. He's going to free all of us. You have to have that hope and belief, but also you have to take action when he tells you to be obedient about certain things. It's not about you. It has never been. That's what we lose, sir. This is why the spiritual ego takes over for a lot of these spiritual people who think they're all high and mighty because they're making money now. All these light workers, because they're making money now, they feel some type of way. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to finish this. Fearlessness. Lion carry powerful energy for those that need to be seen and heard in positions of leadership be fearless and as you trust in the spiritual power which is certainly more than enough for any divine purpose that needs to be accomplished express your true voice and affirm your intention so this is this leadership it comes from wisan bisan has it motas have it. all the people in palestine all these journalists right now doing all these things that they're doing that is fearlessness okay they're literally showing the truth even though they know that they have a lot to lose. Because at this point, they're like, we already lost everything, so what's the point, right? So a lot of us, some of us, we have lost everything already. We have lost our dreams, our goals, and we still hold on to God and stuff like that, but right now it's kind of like uncertain. We're kind of like in the void. That's okay. God wants us like that. He wants us to let Him show us the path and then we come forward. He doesn't want us to take control of everything. Yes, you can plan. Yes, you can write down what you want to do next year, what, blah, blah, blah. But it never ends up fulfilling. Like most of the stuff that you write, that goal and, and wishful uh, New Year's resolution, most of the stuff it never gets accomplished, right? Because if it's not done from, the, from the, the fact that you're connected to God and then you're asking him confirmation if this is what he wants for you, if this is God's will, because when you are following God's will, it is your will. That's why it is free will, because it comes from him. And God's will is your will. It becomes your free will. But when you're just like, okay, well, it's my free will. It's, uh, that's your flesh talking. And a lot of y'all, stop listening to other people who don't really guide you to God, okay? Because uh, hmm. it's a lot of people like that. Um, Divine purpose that needs to be accomplished. Express your true voice and affirm your intentions, okay? The voice of the Spirit is louder, thank you, Spirit, than any other voice within you and around you. It is the most powerful, the most far-reaching and impact, like the roar of, a, of the lion. Okay, he's showing me that movie. Um, uh, the one where there's a lion in the movie. Uh, the one with the kids, what's it called? Uh, Narnia. Anyways, Narnia, all, the, all of them, go see it. There's a, uh, there's a moment, there's a scene where this lion comes in in the middle of the war. Like, they think that they're not going to, and then he comes in with everyone, and it's like his roar is so loud that even the other opposite side, they're, like, scared to even attack, okay? So this is how, and nobody's going to expect this. He's going to come like a, 
like a thief in the night. He's going to come when nobody, I'm telling you, this, this is how it's going to, nobody's expecting this. It's going to be unexpected. Okay. No tower reader, no psychic, no seer, no prophet. Nobody can tell you this because he's not going to give it to them. That is a no, no, but he's going to forewarn you. He's going to give you forewarning, which he's doing it already. We probably the people that are real, okay? Real people, real G's, all right? And they don't care that they're going to lose their platform to following their views by literally supporting people who are literally in dealing with genocide, okay? Please understand. Like, we don't care. We care about those who they, they are fed, they have water, they, they, they have literally... Like, we have to do something. We can't just stay like this, okay? This is why I'm literally every day surrendering this to God, praying for the Palestinian, praying for them, and then having this faith because I know that this weight is sacred. This patient that we're doing is sacred. Even though they're, they're doing the most right now, but it's to falter our, our faith. It's to, uh, to try to let us to feel hopeless, okay? To lose our faith. Don't do that. Don't give the enemy that. Don't do that, Okay? The spiritual, this spiritual voice speaking truth will be heard and take effect, casting off any darkness seeking to impede your purpose and the purpose of those that you love and protect. And so it is. And I, re I seal it in the name of Jesus. Amen. That feels like an affirmation. There is a time and place when the feminine must come to the full and likewise when the masculine is required. Okay, this is not necessarily about men and women, but more about the masculine traits within both men and women. Nearly confirming what I just said to you guys. This is a time when you are asked to utilize masculine traits for the best for best success. The feminine will then be able to flourish. So a lot of you, you're not able to, you feel like you're not able, nobody's listening to you, nobody's hearing you, nobody, you know what I'm saying, that you're not being heard. That's what most feminine feel uh, at the same time because, you know, this is why you rely on divine masculine within yourself because you need to get things done, right? And then that's what some, some of y'all, you feel like you're masculine it's in the divine feminine energy because they're just want to, ah, and be all, like, you know, like that's why it's distorted and that's what the enemy is trying to do and it needs to be, the tables are going to turn, okay? It already has been. Since 2020, it's been happening. But a lot of us are dealing with a lot of things, right? So don't continue allowing this enemy to continue delaying us or, or, or making us lose our faith in our, in, 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 in our hope, okay? Don't let them. Now, these masculine traits include discernment and decisive action, creating order and clearing away what is no longer effective and allowing for the new to emerge from the space created, okay? It might seem that you are being held to a higher standard than others. This is because you have a greater potential to evoke an effect. Okay, so this is for both of you, divine feminine, divine masculine. You might feel isolated a little bit. You might feel like you just, you just can't vibe with any women or men. This is why a lot of you, you just prefer to be single. You prefer not to, like, a lot of you, you feel disgusted by people who have multiple sex partner. I, can, I understand you, okay? But a lot of you, it's like you're isolating yourself to the point that you're not connecting with people who feel the same way as you. You're, you're, this is another attack on, on, your, on your legacy, on the fact that you can connect with people who have the same mindset, who have the same standard as you, who are committed to also, who are willing to commit to people who are just like you. So you're closing yourself off and then not willing to, to see or talk to other people like-minded people as yourself, it also blocks your blessings, okay? That's for someone. I don't know. It said, it may seem that you are being held to a higher standard than others. So a lot of you, you do have, like some people might call you, oh, you have too high standards. So a lot of you, you deal with a lot of rejection like that. Some of you masculine, I've never, like God was talking to me today about that, that a lot of masculine are, are, have the rejection spirit or they feel like they're going to be rejected by their actual divine feminine because 
they have voiced this to other karmics, obviously, that they're not want they don't want to have sex right away in the first night or they don't want to um they want to get to know them first they don't want to you know tell them everything right away on the first night or or like you know or they distant themselves when this karmic is showing in and out energy or or when they say that they don't want a commitment but they just want to uh you know like uh business uh friends without benefits like this person was like but i don't like that i don't want that maybe they they sometimes they even gave up their standards for this person it turned out that this person disappoint them so a lot of divine masculine men are healing the fact that they have dealt with karmic energy thinking that you are like that divine feminine that you're just like these karmics that this is what they also have to heal and this is why the separation is important because they you're not like these karmics You actually have been rejected also, or you have been rejected masculine who are true straightforward, or they want to have sex with you right away, or they want to have a relationship right away, or they want to marry you right away. Like, what the fuck? I just met you. What the hell? We just had a first date. What is this? Right? The love bombing, all this energy, you know? Like a lot of you, 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 you caught it right away. The red flags that they're, they're constantly abusing you or, or talking you some type of way or talking to other people some type of way or flirting with other women right in front of you. Or for some of you, when you go into, this is why I don't use these apps, these dating apps. No way. I had my contact with that and I was like, no way I'm out. The person that I went on a date with, they had their phone. They were looking at their phone and they were actually looking at the same app that they found me they were actually looking in the app while they were in a date with me answering to other women as well so I wasn't even worth their time to even you know what I'm saying and that for me was a blessing I'm like oh my god thank you and that too that was that was it for me so for a lot of you masculines as, as well they have dealt with women like this they're obsessed with these fucking dating apps they're obsessed with fucking multiple people they're obsessed like let's say and that is a toxic mentality too like Some, let's say this man has told them they have slept maybe with third, three to four people and then this person had only slept with one. Right away, the, fame, the toxic karmic, obviously, will say, oh no, so that means I have to meet, go have sex with other people so I can be in the same energy as you. You see how toxic these people are? All this of you, your person knows that they're the toxic one because they have multiple sex partners and they know that you haven't had like you a lot of you you're celibate okay so this is why they are connected with god because they want to cleanse their energy because they know that what they've done is not right for you that they they feel like they don't deserve you that they're they're that yes they're actually happy that you have these high standards because they wish okay that they have met other women with this standard okay now they wish that before when they abandoned you and rejected you they were in that they were in demon time right So that's it. Like a lot of you, you have to understand that a lot of men are going to make a lot of mistakes. Hello, look what happened to Adam and Eve. Hello. This is why also Jesus sacrificed himself. Divine masculine reached the highest consciousness to show your divine masculine that you can do it too. Amen. No, but you still don't get it. God. A lot of you, you need Jesus for real. Now, it says, higher standard of inner, no, this is because you have greater potential to evoke an effect, right? Higher standards of inner accountability form a spiritual safeguard. You get it? Your high standards actually is for your protection. So don't believe what the system is saying. Don't believe what this dating app is saying. Don't believe what anybody tells you to lower your standards, to, to let go of your boundaries, to lower your boundaries for them. When they're not willing to do that for you, your high standards protects you and you need to keep that up there. That's why your person, whoever this is, is attracted to you because of your standards. Okay. High standards of inner accountability form a spiritual safeguard. So that power, which is so easily corruptible. I repeat, which is so easily corruptible by friends hanging out with toxic as fuck friends, by hanging out, by doing it, by staking around with the addiction, drugs, alcohol, multiple sex, porn, and all that stuff. That's why it's easily corruptible because we also live in a system that is corrupt. So this is what we need to accept. This is what we need to heal by going through the colonization, continue holding to God so that we are not corrupt. So our heart, our soul is not corrupt. This is why we consider masculine, patriarchy, toxic, and karmic 
because they're easily corruptible. They're easily influenced. This is why divine feminine do not associate themselves with toxic uh, masculine energy. They cannot. We, we, we're not in the same frequency. This is why it's repulsive to us. And this is why this person, they know where they were at. They know that we feel icky about them and, repul and we feel repulsive in their energy. It's not about them. It's not about their physicality. It's not about their materialistic wealth, what they have, what they don't have. It's not about that. It's their energy. Their energy speaks louder than words. Their actions speak louder than words. Okay? So which is so easily corrupted is expressed in a way that increases light by serving great spirit, which is God, rather than our own, even well-meaning agendas. And he put in, they put it in brackets. Even well-meaning agendas. That goes for the Zionist people with well-meaning agendas. That is disgustingly no. Even the people who are silent and not doing anything right now, that is a well-meaning agenda. It is not well-meaning. This is why their spirit is corrupt, and this is why you're able to see through them. This is why they cannot lie anymore. And this is why you're seeing that most people who are in that ego energy, they're, they're supporting it, right? And that's it. That's fine. Let the bad apple, the bad fruit fall by itself, the trash remove itself. And then so that way you have space to grow the new uh, seeds, right? The new energy, the new, the new change and cleanse and went through the repentance, went through the contemplation, did your fasting, um, have built self-control, have built self-discipline with God, have the relationship with him. You're following your purpose and you're, that is your protection right there. When you're doing all this that I just mentioned, that is all your protect. That is wealth. That is your spiritual wealth on this planet. And if you're able to maintain that, you're already the richest motherfucker in this planet. This is why billionaires, they're jealous of you because they will never achieve that. They don't have intuition. They don't have, uh, angelic protection this is why they have to rely on dark magic and witchcraft and stuff like that because they know they don't have it this is why they need to use genocide they need to use uh, slavery and stuff like that because they don't have that they will never will they know this this is what that scripture came in no they they know they're not allowing the kingdom of heaven they're not they know it and they want to bring you down with them everybody who's siding with that they're bringing them down you get it? This is the ego death that most of us are not only going through, but also we're feeling bad for them too. We feel bad for what's going on, but we feel bad for them too because what's coming to them is 10 times full of what they're doing. But don't feel bad for the oppressors. They don't feel bad for what they're doing either. So continue going. Keep that heart of gold. Keep being compassionate and graceful. Be keep humble, okay? I know God wants you to forgive them. Do that. But don't forget. Don't forget the lesson, okay? Forgive them, yes. But I'm going to weigh into Palestinian, Congo, Sudan. I'm going to weigh what their actions are going to be. I'm going to forgive because God told me. But if they want to forget, forgive and forget, then I will do that. But if they're not forgetting, I'm not doing it either. I feel like I was like reborn as a Palestinian. I don't know. And all the people dealing with stuff right now, like, I don't care. They're worthy. They're worthy of everything. The best of everything. And those people and billionaires and stuff like that, they, it needs to be reversed. They need to deal with what they're dealing and see if they can survive it. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to happen. Glory be to God. He's going to make them see and suffer the same way that they have allowed other people suffer, especially children. We know it. It's written in the Bible. It's in the scripture. Literally. Ego Yana, sorry, Ingo Yama also brings the message of wise cultivation of energy. Lions can rest for 20 hours a day. When they need to act, they do. They also take their share of the food available without apology. 
If you have been associating leadership with overwork and have sacrifice of your needs to fulfill the needs of others, do away with that. Thank you, Spirit. That's my convicting because I've been feeling some type of way. And yes, I feel overwork sometimes, but that is why I've been resting and then rest and then come back into it, rest. My rest right now is resting, but also like talking to him, talking to God, because I feel at peace when I'm doing that. And also he gives me that rest and peace when I feel, you know, anxious or some type of way. Okay. Um, also when I'm dealing with spiritual warfare, which has been, he's been reducing it even more while I'm doing this work, because I know that when I was in the spiritual, more spiritual and stuff like that, when I'm into the, like, I feel it more, the spiritual warfare, especially people messing with my energy. But the fact is that the fact that I'm, I'm doing this work for, for the collective in terms of focusing on spirituality and practicality and then voicing out for those who are voices who are already dealing with, with warfare, okay? Who are already dealing with the physical war and genocide. So that already, God says, you are protected when you do this work. Don't worry about it, right? And then now too, when I'm protected and I'm focusing on them, they are protected too. You get it? This is why it's not about us. This is why you have to take their privilege and put it in where it needs to go. Not to yourself, not to your selfish me, not to your ego. Kill that ego. Alchemize and transmute that energy and give it to them. They need it. They need our strength. They need our prayers. They need our protection. Every time you post about them, you post their picture, you pray over their picture on social media, you share their content, you use the filter, you're protecting them and yourself. It's reciprocal. It's balance. It brings justice to them and it brings justice to you. It's sad that people don't get this. It's so sad. But a lot of y'all, you're going to learn in the really hard way because we're trying to we're trying to ease the lesson for you. But I feel like at this point I'm like exhausted to try and explain to other people that just don't get it. I'm just going to continue supporting those who get it, connecting with those who get it and building with those who get it. And that's it. That's it. In your well-being, strength, and dignity, so much more shall be accomplished. I love that. In your well-being, strength, and dignity, so much more shall be accomplished. So if your well-being is a bit wonky, take a little pause and work on that. If your strength has been, you've been depleted, you feel overwhelmed, you're having anxiety, you're Going into that procrastination, going down, and nah, nah, nah. go talk to God, go pray, do a fasting, okay? Get into your scripture, we'll give you energy. He always does that. He gives me energy even through like seeing numbers and synchronicities. And he knows I love synchronicity. And he loves, he knows I love it. I love synchronicity and serendipity. I, that's one of my favorite, like that's my love language. And whenever he gives me scripture or numbers that he knows that it connects me and him, I already feel this energy. It's like a, it's like I've been like, I uh, plugged uh, my iPhone myself being plugged and I feel the, the energy go back like my energy like green droop, back up <laughs> and this is why I'm able to show up not only for you guys the community my children my business is my work okay because this energy is not mine it comes from him why because it comes from you like I said when you go to 70 I think it's 76 and 77 I talk about the oil when you plenish your oil the real oil, not toxic and distorted. The real oil, it never runs dry. Never. Your strength never runs dry. Only when you separate yourself from God. Only when you start losing faith. Only when you start lacking, uh, losing hope, right? And the enemy knows it and it's counting on that. So don't give it to them, okay? Those that you are here to love, guide, and protect will feel faith in their path all the more 
So when their guide expresses and embodies divine love and wisdom with kindness towards all, including compassion and respect for self. Glory be to God. Amen. So I just hope that whoever reaches messages, that you feel the love, that you feel guided to do the right thing, okay? That you know that your protection also, it could be the protection for another person or another community, okay? That your privilege is actually that you can pass it down to another person, that you can, while you transmute and alchemize negative energy, toxic energy, and jealous, envious people, jealous, or whatever it is that you're going through, right? Because everybody's different, and then you decide to help those in need, even while you're struggling, that is unconditional love. God, Jesus, sacrificed himself while he was struggling. He still loved us. He still forgave us. He still forgave, the, I'm telling you, he still forgave the Jewish people who sacrificed him. He still loved them. That is the most humbling experience that you will ever experience is actually helping someone who wronged you, right? Awakening someone who wronged you, healing, ministering someone who wronged you. Yeah. Everyone who wants to send to spirituality into the real. Oh, by the way, that's another one. Thank you, Spirit. I just want to make it clear. Uh, there is um, this new age. Just please use the sermon. Whenever you hear this, uh, right away, block your energy from that. Don't stop watching it. There is this weird ass spiritual people saying that there is a divide. So that division is the counterfeit put in that in their mind. Okay. And they consider themselves, you know, really spiritual because they meditate, they whatever the fuck. They have huge platforms and they talk about spirituality, okay? Um, their, or higher consciousness or whatever. Be aware when someone tells you there is this divide. Like in 2024, there's going to be a divide where a lot of people are going to be in toxic karma and then those who are going to be a higher ascension and 5D and beyond and uh, very spiritual stuff like that. You know, there's going to be, you know, and you better be on the right side, okay? So they're considering staying silent and ignorant and colonial, continue the BS of colonial system and this system that obviously benefits them uh, right now uh, to continue, that, that this is going to continue, that they're going to continue doing this, okay? So this is also a form of oppression, okay, through the spiritual community as well. They carry the religious spirit, even though they think that they don't have it, they do, okay? So if you're hearing this, that is a form of gaslighting and victim and, and, and making themselves feel the victim, okay? Also, bypassing. This is, a, this is what is called gaslighting bypassing, okay? They're bypassing what's going on in the world and then calling us that we are defending 3D, that we are attaching ourselves to negative karma and blah, blah, blah. But it's actually God is going to have the last laugh. And I already explained that in this whole podcast and I don't want to repeat myself, but you already know what's up, right? If you got... If you listen to all the way up to here, you already know what's up. And if you are on the right side of history, make sure that you're hugging yourself, okay? Hug your children if you have children. Hug something. Hug your, the person that you love the most. Someone who protects you, who supports you, okay? Someone who is not abusive or toxic about whatever it is that you're doing, okay? And if they are, they're not for you. That's how you know also, Okay? Love yourself. Know your word. Remember, keeping the high standard is your for your protection as well. Okay? And I'm not saying to keep your high standards to literally ignore and put on the side um, not only someone who shows you unconditional love, okay, but also what's going on in the world. Because when you are negative and, and, and not negative in the sense that, that you're allowing this what's going on in the world and continue abandoning that neglecting that and thinking that there's better out there that i better focus on other things because i don't have time for that that is not my problem you're highly mistaken because eventually if we continue doing this it's going to happen to you and guess what those people that you thought they were in your community they're not going to show up for you they're not Most probably those who you neglected and abandoned, you're going to ask them for help. <laughs> oh, man. And that's going to be interesting because they're going to have the choice to help you 
or not, just like you had the choice to help them or not. We'll see how that works, right? I love you guys. Make sure you are kind to yourself, your planet, and to others, okay? Make sure that you're continue boycotting. Make sure that you're continue advocating this. Make sure you're not continue posting, reposting. Continue what we have to do. We are the people. And it is all for the glory of God. God is going to show what's going on. There's justice coming in. I'm telling you. You want to be on the right side of history and on the right side of God, okay? I'm to actually be on the right side of God first before history because history is going to still be there or repeating itself, especially for those who are now never learning the lesson, okay? Be on the right side of God, okay? Which means also it's the same to be on the right side of history for those in need. Free Palestine, ceasefire now, free Congo, free Sudan, free all the genocide that's going on in the world because we are now free until everybody is free. Amen? Amen. I love you. God loves you more. Peace and blessings and peace be with you. See you next time or see you next year. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. Okay, so I know I was already done. I already said goodbye, but there was this healing process from the Oracle that I'm going to leave here for those who want to can who are, came all the way here. If you're listening, amazing. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for sharing, putting it out there, following us on Spotify, supporting us on Angie Blog community, on Divine Intuitive on the YouTube channel, liking, continue liking, comment and sharing, okay? Um, and subscribing as I'm dealing with shadow ban because I'm speaking the truth. But that was, it's just, it's just what it is, okay? Um, <clears throat> But for those who are, you know, advocates, um, you know, humanitarians, um, uh, you know, you're on the right side of history. Like, let me just say, I have a healing message that he wanted me to um, read to you. Uh, it's very interesting. So uh, for those who caught this uh, part, then if you're all the way here, then yeah, it was meant for you. Okay. Some people might have already clicked off <laughs> like halfway of this podcast, but if you're all the way here, you're the real G. I appreciate you. Okay. And God loves you. All right. I love you. God loves you even more. Right. So this is for you, whoever this is, whoever continue, whoever, I don't know. It's just, I, I was done. I'm already ready to publish the podcast and he stopped me on my tracks. And I, and then when I'm reading the part of the prayer, I see why. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so here it is, the healing process. All right. It says, stand with your, stand with your feet hip width apart knees unlocked okay so you're kind of like praying in the knees position uh feel connected to your body as you imagine feel or intend that your energy is now vital golden and lum luminous it shines out from your heart and creates a potent feel of divine light within you and around you in all directions so remember what I was saying when, when you pray, when you're protected, when you're advocating for those in need, when you're, um, yeah, you're willing to sacrifice anything, time, energy, space, money, whatever, for another person in need. This is why your energy goes even beyond the physical. It goes beyond, okay? You're able to quantum feel the dimension, the spiritual realm. Like God allows your spirit, your authority, because you, he gave you that authority, to literally your energy amplify to the point that you're able to save others that you're able to protect and shield others okay not everybody because only god can do that and things are happening in divine timing and but right now you're able to save as much as you can with your energy okay um so don't think for a second that praying for another person and not automatically helps you as well, okay? But don't do it for the fact that you're going to get something in return. Then don't do it, right? Because the whole point of this job is to do it selfishly. Like, um, you know, unconditional love doesn't have condition, doesn't have uh, prequisites. It doesn't have, you know what I'm saying? It's just genuine love, okay? So... Um, so yeah, it says within this light is the roar of the divine lion of truth. So that's what we've been doing. This two podcasts, the 78 and 79 is the spirit of truth has been here. Yeshua, um, 
God, Christ consciousness, Jesus Christ, the Son, the Holy Spirit, like the divine energy is here. Why? Because this person, this vessel has been um, preparing before lifetimes, before this time to prepare for that energy to prepare to withstand that because the energy of frequency, truth, cl uh, truth, uh, clarity, and justice is an energy that has never been in a system like this. So it, you know, it retaliates, right? People try to, you know, oh no, that's not it, right? Which is okay, that's fine. That's their own downfall and their own doing, right? But a lot of us, we need to be okay with being truthful. I feel like a lot of us don't take account, like don't take enough credit when you are truthful and honest. And even if people don't like to hear the truth, that is not your problem. That is their problem. And they are the one willing to, uh, because they're triggered, because they don't want to deal with the with their energy or what they need to heal, they're going to gaslight you. They're going to bully you. They're going to be, I mean, look at Jesus' story. Hello? He was literally telling them the truth. And he they had him right there in his face, alive. Another, he wants you guys to remember. Thank you, sir, with the burp. That was a confirmation. The, the divine lion truth that he wants to make sure that you guys remember. There wasn't just 12 apostles, okay? There were 13. I feel like Mary Magdalene is not really much mentioned in the Bible as much. And this is something Jesus kind of was kind of sad about that and he keeps telling me like that that Mary Magdalene was one was the first apostle okay she was the first one and she was the last one to see him right when he survived when he came back after three days she was the first one to see him right he ordained it that way he wanted it that way okay but also there was some type of jealousy envy around the 12 apostles too because they were all guys right and there felt some type of way that he will you know it's just that she has the divine feminine she was the sacred divine feminine and he was uh jesus christ was a divine masculine right so they were the first twins right but there was no consummation like people saying it might have been okay i still believe that there is descendants of jesus here but that's not me to confirm. That's for you guys to ask him and let him know. He has revealed stuff to me as well, but I, he trusts me. So I'm not going to reveal only in due time. But I do know he wants to make sure that you guys remember that it wasn't just 12 apostles. It was 13, okay? Mary Magdalene was the first, all right? She was the first, and this is why he... Uh, he was advocating for women oppressed and and women who dealing with prostitute like so many things that was happening during that time so he was always defending women and then eventually women was the one who actually uh financially supported him as well so he can continue his journey he continued traveling he can be fed and stuff like that but god we jesus didn't really need it right it's just that 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 was, that was also their test that if they were able to, like they knew god would have everything but they would still be able to um help him and and and, and honor his uh, teaching and his scriptures and and help him in, in some form of way okay or they still have faith with him right so this is something that he wants you guys to remember as well okay so yeah mary Magdalene was a beautiful apostle okay she was the one he did save her from um something that you know she was dealing for many years right so then she became this beautiful energy right uh but also it's the fact that they met and then they were able to encounter and they were able to fulfill god's mission uh not only um god you know jesus had to pro deal with the prophecy right the prophecy and and be loyal and obedient to god right his father but also he had a promise within the fact that after three days there was going to be something very sacred and very lovely that they um jesus and mary Magdalene were supposed to have okay and and it did happen it's just it's not written in the bible of course because that will ruin the catholic roman catholic and, and all the religious spirit right that assume assumed that they eradicate Mary Magdalene and they they kill her or whatever or they kill her teachings or all of that because she did continue um uh, uh being a, a apostle right after Jesus uh you know uh, came back and then went back to to heaven right so um there's a lot of details that we don't know and it's not for our understanding yet but i just he just wanted to remind someone here that there is 13 apostles not 12 not just 12 okay um and that includes mary Magdalene. all right okay 
uh, and that too. He loves that the chosen that um, that uh, new show in the I think it's Angel is called Angel Studios. Okay, um, they love that they the first episode was uh, Mary Magdalene in there. So he wants to confirm that to some of you who have watched the chosen. If you haven't, go watch it. That it's just awesome. Okay, but the chosen, uh, yeah, the first episode you see their own interpretation of what happened between Jesus and Mary Magdalene and how Jesus found her and how Jesus, you know. But for a lot of us, um, I don't want to ruin it for any of you, for any of you. But when you watch that first episode and the last part of that episode, you're gonna feel what Mary Magdalene felt by be chosen by God. Okay. And you'll know it's your message as well. Because when I saw that, I literally, I had to rewind it because I literally, before he said Mary, I heard my name. <laughs> so God will do this. Like, I started crying. I was like, wait, no, I heard. And then I went back and it said, it said Mary. But I was like, I heard my name. That was crazy. And then he said, yes, it is your name. <laughs> so God will do things like that, okay? So don't be surprised. Don't put him in a box. Let him surprise you. Let him show you real authentic and love magic because love, love is magic you know but the real kind of magic okay the real life worker magic the real jesus and divine holy okay magic okay not doing things for cloud not trying to jeopardize someone for money not trying to steal or to relay or none of that none no confusion no fear no doubt all right remember that that is how you know the truth, all right? The truth is always within you and your intuition, okay? Now, it says, even if it seems silent, it can be felt, heard, and takes divine effect far and wide. Allow the sound and the field of light to intermingle and extend as far as you wish. Yes, as far as you wish. That this prayer gets all the way to the Palestinian people. That this prayer gets all the way to Congo and Sudan to keep them strained, to keep going, to survive and to strain. To get to the people who are going to bring the emergency aid and bring them the, the things that they need, the necessary needs. That all that effort, that it does not go to waste and it reaches the right people, the people from Yemen that are able to get back their their food sources again that they're not punished for helping those who definitely need help as well we should not be punishing people that we know need help like that's how you know how oppressive and toxic this world is and i'm done to repeating myself i'm just i just know that you guys get it now okay and you should get it by now all right and do the right thing Intermingle, and as far as you wish, even reaching beyond time and space, into the past and the future, into worlds beyond the physical. Okay? So say out loud. Here we go. You can say this. You can write it down if you want. You can pause it and write it down. Or you can just say it with me. Okay? Here we go. Through the spiritual authority residing in my heart, as the Christ Lion of Judea, I cast out the darkness of negative influence. I cast it, I cast it out of myself, of my loved ones and my community. I cast it out of world events and future situations wherever this sanctified spiritual authority is stands. May all leaders submit to wisdom for the greatest good of all. Through the power of the great spirit of love, it is done. Rest for as long as you need. You have completed your healing process. Now, it says rest for as long as you need. Okay? So after you're done all the work that you need to be doing in the physical, in spiritual realm, in your prayers and stuff like that, make sure that you're taking rest. Okay? That's exactly what I'm going to be doing after I finish putting the word that this word is out and then i'm just gonna take a step back and then surrender it because at one point it's it's okay to take action it's okay to do all the things but eventually you have to let god do his work right you have to let him take over right he knows what you want he knows your prayer he knows what you need he knows what they need he knows you just have to trust okay and continue believing all right all right, so now it's officially bye-bye. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you next year, all right? Bye.